It's a beautiful part of the world, and it's a long, long way from Wrexham in North Wales, but this is where their FA Cup journey for the season begins. And the beauty, or otherwise, of this great competition is the instant jeopardy, because for Blythe or Wrexham, it's also where it could end this afternoon. And for Blythe, two changes to the team that drew here against Banbury United in National League North last Saturday. Defenders Reese Evans and Jack Bodnam have dropped out to be replaced by Michael Little, an experienced player who started out at Sunderland, and Liam Ravenhill signed only yesterday on a month's loan from Doncaster Rovers. For Wrexham, Phil Parkinson has made four changes from last week's magnificently madcap game against Barnet with the quartet coming in being Bryce Hosanna still working his way back from a hamstring injury, James Jones, Jordan Davis for his 100th game for the club, he's fit after a knock at Notts County, and Sam Dolby, who gets his first start of the season, he's leading the attack with Ollie Palmer and Paul Mullin given a break as substitutes. Here's Cedric Main, he's done it again, he's turned Tozer, he's so sharp with his back to goal, and now Main's bearing down on goal and Tozer's back at him, but not decisively. Blocked and cleared. Best Blythe chance yet. Cedric Main's a real handful. So far, what about that for a touch and turn? And Toza had to be so careful with his challenge here. Good block by Callum McFadgen. That was going in. Got a bit of pace, hasn't he? Cedric Main. It's McEwen's shot. Rosanna, crossing, which is turned onto the top of the bar. Dolby got there, got his boot to it, and he very nearly squeezed it in. It would have been an unlikely goal. Yeah, he's appealing for a corner, so whether it was the defender... Well, look at the, the last shirt. touch on this, yeah. Maybe appealing for the foul, the penalty. First bit of service, though, that Dolby's had. Something to go at. Well, he did brilliantly to get that as near as he did. Well, the shirt was being pulled off his back. Great work by Corey McEwen. Running away from everybody. Nice bit of skill to follow too from Devadix. Hickey, Richardson screaming for it. Richardson's chipped. Was just over the head of O'Donnell. Wrexham struggling to get the ball away. Devadix. What a lovely bit of football that was for Blythe Spartans. Now Ravenhill. O'Donnell goes for it. And Howard was beaten. That was not far wide at all. It just about shaved the post. That's one of the best bits of play we've seen from either team all game. Yeah, fantastic spell from them. Two really good attacks. And he's done ever so well to make something of this. He just came over the, the defender's head. But he anticipated that. As you say, the keeper wasn't getting there. Ben Toza with the hurl into the box. Back it comes from Young. That was a clumsy challenge. The referee happy to let the play go. And it all ends with a Blythe goal kick. O'Donnell down. Yeah, Wrexham appealing for this penalty, coming together. O'Donnell maybe just going down to uh, as a decoy to the challenge. It's all a bit awkward, that. Wrexham starting to come good in attack. This is Jones, he was looking to pull it back for Elliot Lee. Young, this is as busy as they've been around that Blythe penalty area. That's well played by Jones. Just wide. Mitchell forced to dive. Full length to his left. Better from Phil Parkinson's yeah, team. Happened so often. You know you're going to get a rollicking in the half time dressing room, and last few minutes you do step it up. That was so close. He really did strike this well. Seven goals last season for Jones. Perhaps a little concerned, though, that Wrexham have started to play. And that one's given away. There might be something happening here with Davis touching it back for Lee. 
And now McFadden, and McFadden is denied by Mitchell, who lost it at first but regained the ball before the Wrexham number three could get there. One of the few times that we've seen this kind of space, 30 yards from goal. They just lost the shape momentarily there, Blythe Spartans, and Wrexham sensing the chance. Half time at Croft Park. In that famous FA Cup tie between these sides in the 1977-78 season, Blythe took the lead. Wrexham equalised in the last minute through a Dixie McNeil header from a three times taken corner. And Mainz controlled it. Here's the Spartans counter. Wrong pass played. Hickey goes steaming into try and make amends, and Hayden will not appreciate him going in again. And there was actually no need for him to go in again. Referee will want to work with Jordan Hickey. Who would be well advised to just leave this alone? He's getting a yellow card anyway. Yeah, maybe annoyed actually with the the pass they attempted to play into Maine, which wasn't the best attempt. Well, it was his 23rd birthday yesterday, and there's another card for it. Yeah, we had that little flare up, didn't we? Just uh, at the end of the first half, Hayden involved in that one. He just dropped off there, the centre-half, knowing that Main was looking for the ball behind. Aaron Hayden did well not to react to the first tackle. And uh, Jordan Davis has made his way from the field as well. Elliot Lee into the crowd. And that's over the bar. Toza trying to put it back in. Got too much on it. There was plenty on the shot from Lee. Yeah, there was. Polaxed his man there. JJ O'Donnell is getting his breath back after that. Yeah, welcome uh, glimpse of the goal for Elliot Lee. Hasn't had too many of those. a late tackle, the referee's happy for the play to go on it's Mullin with the ball in and it's wide and it was the defender who put it wide getting in front of Oli Palmer and it was really good defending really important defending I bet Palmer's eyes were lighting up here Mullin tried to find him and this is Cornish straight into the game blocked by Hayden, Hickey has a go blocked by Hosanna, it's a corner Blythe won a penalty, but a corner's been given. Well, are they going to be able to find the finishing touch out there? They've done everything but defender. That one certainly wasn't a handball, and no, he's turned his back on it. Hosanna, not going to get a penalty for that. When it was Wrexham, I really needed to. In from Richardson, Howard punches away. Hickey, good drive, good save. Howard had to watch that come through a whole load of bodies. Yeah, the flag's gone up, but he did hit it well. And you're right, Howard might not have seen that until late. Yeah, the live player may be in the eye line of Howard, but... Uh, didn't stop the keeper from getting his hands to it. Now a free kick for Wrexham. Palmer down just outside the penalty area. What an opportunity this could be. Certainly shooting distance, this one. It's going to be O'Connor. And it was another one deflected. He's done it again. Delight in the away end. The journey worthwhile. Tom O'Connor. 
for the second weekend running, needed a bit of help with the free kick, but he got it. Yeah, didn't he just? Completely against the gun of play. And he flat foots the keeper, this deflection. Mitchell just can't get anywhere near it. Off oh, Richardson, isn't it? It's just so unfortunate for the home team. One of those things that do happen every now and again. A huge slice of luck for Wrexham. for Michael Richardson to try and find the right ball into the penalty area. An in-swinger and Howard stayed back and it's gone all the way in. Nobody else needed to touch it. Blood Spartans have equalised. Well, you cannot say they don't deserve that. They've been superb out there. Absolutely superb. The Grand Fenton's players for all the effort. Finally, they get their reward. One of those three kicks where the keeper can't move until he sees if somebody gets a little touch on it. But they didn't, did they? And he creeps all the way into the far corner. Richardson will claim this. Don't think he gets a touch. There's nothing on that. All the way in from the boot of Michael Richardson, who has had a terrific game along with so many in green and white stripes. They're an aptly named team. Yeah. These Spartans battle. You cannot deny them that goal. That's Palmer. Here's Mullen. Mullen to Palmer. Palmer bundles through and misses. That was the moment to win the tie. Well, we've hardly seen that pair of substitutes, Palmer and Mullen, but. They get involved here. And Palmer very nearly rolling one into the far corner. Stab of the ball. That would have been heartbreaking for the home team. Alex Mitchell takes as long as he dare. He's testing the referee's patience, but will now launch it. by Hosanna, here's O'Donnell, O'Donnell plays it back, there might be something on now, blocked in the middle, and now he's behind for a goal kick, but now it's all over at Croft Park and it's all back to the race course on Tuesday night for a replay.